This superpowered super soldier tier can rip out spines with your head, name the midnight of that can react to a tank shell mid-air, and kick the bull crap back at other tanks, but that's just me. Imagine a character that has a little computer in his head that already show him how this ends. You got characters like the Midnighter, a part of Wildstorm comics, or one could say also a part of DC comics. You know, they got an interesting history, Wildstorm and DC, you know, part of this Stormwatch organization, United Nations program, different members. They talk about it here in case you're just joining us. Two super enhanced individuals. Midnighter's definitely enhanced. If we're going to keep it hot, he's one of those characters that's armed to the T. I mean, look at all this stuff under his jacket. Batman is type of persona, kind of, you know, weird, right? In newer is type of stuff when it comes to Midnighter. This right here is what I'm going to be going over in this vid. He can predict your every move, but no one can predict what he'll do next. Are you ready? Midnighter. Matter of fact, in newer stuff, he doesn't even really know who he is or his own origin, really. He carries Shuriken and he uses them quite a bit he uses a staff and he can turn them into instrument sticks kind of like on some nightwing type stuff can do some power pole extend type of expanding type stuff to go through your head no matter which continuity we're talking about when it comes to the type of gear he wields in newer stuff his pole can even expand through monsters that long and pierce you like a blade basically and he has some of the most epic communication devices to speak from long range instantly even if he's trolling technically the thing he specializes in one of his abilities which is the thing he specializes in is the battle computer where it pretty much lets him see any scenario and play it out each possible combat encounter and react with the best option like sometimes it could be annoying already knowing how this story ends he can map out the scenario he wants and then play it and have it play out the way he wishes. Finding a closing scene I love, then I work my way back to the beginning to figure out exactly how it all went down. It's the same way my crazy brain processes every possible outcome for a battle before the first punch is even thrown. Running through a trillion potential versions of this entire day in my head, including the spectacular banal conversation we're about to have. Yeah, so he even knows conversations they haven't had yet. It's hard to be ahead of this kind of guy. It's not an exaggeration. It stated yet again, he can run a million of a combat scenario through his head before it's even started. He can even run through a scenario so deeply to where he can kind of convince you to stop fighting him or not fight because of this battle computer type of thing, running through scenario type of thing. This battle computer prediction type of power that he has, it kind of reminds me of how is how speed force users can use speed thinking to process information a lot faster in different scenarios to find the greatest possible outcome and how everything plays out this midnighter ability kind of reminds me of stuff like this via calculations they talk about the severity of this battle computer calculating possible outcomes of, of a fight is one thing but knowing what my many legs will do and avoiding all of them are two very different things his ability lets him do stuff like that he can know what powers and abilities you have just by detecting the increased electrical activity in your brain. He knows your special abilities you have. I can see the enhancement. Knowing what moves you are preparing. I fought our fight already in his head in a million different ways. I can hit you without you even seeing me. It's even so bad to where even if you're faster than him like a speedster, you can technically predict the movements they're about to do to counter accordingly. Yeah. He's won a lot of different battles by predicting opponent's movements and winning that way. One could argue this is why he has superhuman fighting speed, dodging while predicting. Even with scenarios where he doesn't really have that much time to calculate, like surprise attacks, well-coordinated attacks, he still can calculate ways to win on the spot. But since it was well-coordinated, it was only five possible scenarios this occasion, which is about 50 less than usual. So it lets you know that the attack was good compared to usual, but he still can overcome it. It's one thing about being fast and be able to telegraph somebody, but actually knowing what they do before they actually throw it is a whole nother thing. It's like you can automatically start dodging before the punch is even thrown. I mean, you might as well call this dude Sherlock Holmes when it comes to just analyzing different things in the room at the same time to make interesting deductions in newer is type stuff. Call him Captain America or one could say Bullseye when it comes to accuracy and playing bull. It's like this dude can literally watch a movie in the head and he can literally talk to you like a spoiler warning. Like, yeah, I already know that who needs help. He's one of those characters he can tell if you're holding back or not based on how you fight and how your muscles tense up. And if you bloodlust it, he knows when you're forcing a counterfeit smile and knows when you're hiding something. So even though he technically can't read your mind, he can technically read your intentions. Just say he has the Sharon guy from Naruto, which is why he can see what you do before you do it. Even if you go in wild mode he still can predict your movements like you know you move like an animal just wild and random he still can predict you in this way he knows when you're bluffing or lying he's definitely comparable to the higher end super soldier-esque superhuman tiers in dc 
including Deadshot. I have a video about Deadshot. Check that video out. In this particular scenario, you can see that everything put together by the computer going up against the Suicide Squad, Parasite, Harley Quinn, Deadshot, Respectable. Yeah, you can just see how all this stuff is beautifully analyzed and fought back discreetly because of all this stuff. He knows exactly where to hit you. I would like to ask you guys, do you think this basically gives Midnighter future sight? Because it seems like it. Like, it kind of feels like on some Spider-Sense type stuff. No matter if you have a gun on him or not, he seems to know how to make every scenario jump to his will. Even if you have an enchanted gun? Dude, this is straight ludicrous. He's already dodged your spatatic shots a million different ways in my head before the hammer even fell. Bruh, are you serious? All these freaking shots. And they can't hit him once? He even tells people after he does what he does on how he does the calculations. He's one of those characters that actually gets off on deriving pleasure from beatdowns. He might choose a scenario where it kind of was a lot more bloody, bloodier than it had to be. Yeah, but other than this battle computer, for example, he has superhuman throwing power showing his physicals to go through someone's skull. Who do you know that's strong enough to throw a refrigerator? He's definitely not normal and throws it through a wall at that. No stranger to actually working out to staying in shape. He throws guys through the air like 20 feet that far. He can straight kick through a guy if he feels like it and cause all this. Punches your sword apart with raw striking power. Rips out a guy's spine and skull like on some Mortal Kombat finish him type stuff. Feats like this have been calculated when it comes to spine stuff being ripped out. YouTubers that are better at math than you and I will ever be calculated this to take hundreds of tons of force. You can watch this video for reference to that. It may seem like something like this wouldn't take hundreds of tons of force because he's just ripping off of somebody's head. But it's the part with the head and muscles being connected and he's still able to rip through it. A lot of technicalities on why this takes so much more force than you'd expect. So this feat alone could imply 100 tons of strength. Don't forget he's physically strong enough to pop a head off. We're not going to deny in collateral of his fights houses just freaking collapse, my dude. If you still have your doubts about his strength, how about the fact that it was a building-sized monster like you can see for yourself? Um, is that who I think it is? Holding open the mouth of this freaking monster. Strength? Still don't believe he can support 100 tons or lift 100 tons after seeing stuff like that? And then, of course, you got occasions like this where his kicking power does this to further prove. I mean, superhuman stuff is just a normal day in life to him. Some of the stuff just isn't battle computers, but he just literally kicked this guy's head off obliterated this guy's face and also doing this to the concrete on top of it strong enough to shatter guns over his knees hey metal pole have the metal pole go through your head tank shells that shoot at him mid-air he can not only react to it but kick the bull crap out of the air back at him at the same time he's forever punching superhumans with crazy strength to where they go flying pretty freaking far and in his mini battles he's forever shattering metal swords because you got to respect his striking power shards of glass he can use as a weapon to slice demons heads off to do what he has to do. Even his hands are lethal weapons where he can slice your throat with his hands like a blade. I'm honestly convinced he's above the super soldier tier being able to hit this hard to shatter this much ice just by pounding the ground. This don't look like something peak human super soldiers do quite frequently. He freaking pulled up on Edge again, a being that's powerhouse level and just did this to with a punch. Imagine trying to strangle him like Grifter did, but it backfired because of his strength. He just overpowered the stranglehold. Anybody that can pick up a guy with literally two fingers is superhuman, bro. Beings like Apollo, who can literally level planets, not only parry the punch from Apollo, but punches and floors them. He's one of them characters where he's not afraid to one-shot you and not pull his punches. Just in case you're wondering, Martian Man is not really knocked out. I know you was thinking it. Cats that are stronger than normal get one-shotted. Or a freaking Red Lantern. Dozens of clones he can just murder because he's just like that. Lifting up beings with one arm is nothing. One punch, knockout sleepy time. Powering through a whole bunch of guards, one-man army status. Even Omax that be giving powerhouses issues. Not only breaking a lamppost in half, but straight up use it to flip over a truck. Just like this. He's even pulled up on super intelligent gorillas. No, this is not necessarily Gorilla Grodd, but another intelligent gorilla instead. He gave them hands. When it comes to aliens, he's not afraid to rip off their arms. We know he's strong enough to break handcuffs. Can jump at least 10 feet in the freaking air. Even if you're super soldiers, supposedly, y'all necks still get popped. Or even if you're like a big behind dragon, your neck is not safe. He be punching through armored beings. Seriously, he does some stuff that you would say is out of the ordinary for a super soldier tier, right? Or is he just a super soldier tier that doesn't hold back? <laughs> I mean, think about it. Who do you know that pulls up the superhuman's heads and punch their heads in half like that? Robots, y'all get curb stomped and decimated in half. Even surrounded by a group of 
Cyborgs, I don't know what y'all thought was about to happen, but he still got the W. Punches a part of Cyborg. This dude forever kicking heads off. Wait, it's like this dude's fist and blunt parts of his body are sharp edged the way he be splattering folks. I mean, it's a constant thing to where humans get splattered, superhumans get splattered, head, alien spores. When it comes to his raw fighting speed, that's something beings in comics always do. Midnight's speed is compared to beings that can cut bullets out of the air. He's fast enough to dodge. Energy gun, raw speed. The guy literally says yawn. Obviously, he can dodge cars being thrown at him. Energy orbs, he can hit back at him. Notice how this mounted machine gun fire, when it comes to fighting speed, he can deflect and react to stuff like this. His speed is so crazy. Part of this is his speed and his battle computer type of stuff that know what you're going to do next. To where he can just straight up blitz you before you can do anything to the hostage. I already showed this already, but he can react to missile, fire, even quote-unquote speedsters he can technically react to. One can argue in the newer stuff, he's more over the top than ever because in recent comics, he does like, in this occasion while locked up, vibrations each time you blink to get loose of this stuff and get free. I mean, you can get right intent on how fast he is, how the artist drew a blur. One can say all you gotta do is speed blitz him because if he's too fast for his brain, it doesn't matter what his prediction is, right? Well, that's true, but whatever speed he does lack, and he's fast enough too. He does have superhuman speed, maybe not on the level of top tier speedsters, but he's not like a normal human level speed on his own. But thanks to his battle computer letting him know every possible thing a speedster can do, he can kind of make a count saying stuff like this. You're faster than me 59 seconds out of the minute, but got that one second to make a count. That one second to where he has the advantage. And that's how he can get the advantage over fast beings that are faster than him. And he's apparently nearly as fast as the Flash. So it's basically a combination of two things. His battle computer, aka being able to basically see into the future to predict your actions. Plus his already decent superhuman reflexes to block missiles and bullets and stuff on top of his prediction. For him to bridge the gap between beings that are way faster than him. I mean he's always dodging gunshots from like Grifter. A normal day in the life. There's even scenarios where he doesn't have the battle computer and he's still fast enough to freaking dodge bullets regardless of it. To prove that his battle computer is not what gives him superhuman speed, he just has ridiculous reflexes without the battle computer in the, just in the meanwhile, on top of the battle computer making it worse. But with the battle computer, you can see him dancing around a monster like that, trains this close to him, he can still get out the way of it. When all this BS is trying to fire at him, shotgun projectiles he's dancing around all this bs and dodging all of it he can react to stuff like from nightwing a, a poster boy super soldier tier at dc he's been hit by bs like big fireballs and he's been okay from stuff like that or surviving being frozen solid for a hot minute <laughs> large monsters that are that big he's had to withstand attacks from when it comes to raw skills i shouldn't even have to show you his skills at this point i'm talking about waves of beings he can take down alongside the bat family type characters headshot throw to really show he doesn't have to rely on his battle computer when his enhancements are disabled he can still battle beings like prometheus in a not so short type of battle and this one could say pretty high difficulty i mean bro what can i say whole train of thugs and of course he's fought on par with bat family members like dick grayson before one of my favorite bat family members of all time you can see him fighting on par with bat family members respect it yet photon blades he dodges and parries attacks from whole train of thugs just speed blitz through all this the bs if you're just straight up trash he's not afraid of soloing all of you because y'all ain't about to handle him in no 1v1 but i do see grifter and brian's tiger i have a video about on the channel after hearing all this stuff i've been talking about you're probably thinking holy crap he sounds invincible since it's literally techie ish it can be technically disabled since it's kind of technically a computer and it can be scrambled if you're using the right tech or etc against it so he's not invincible in that regard advanced technology like nanotech can technically bypass it like mr terrific's type of tech scrambling the signal could mess him up too to counter him the implants I mean, he technically has a form of precognition in that regard. It's explained here. Midnight has said, how? I fought this fight a million times instantly. How did you dodge my strike? It's simply explained. It doesn't matter how many times you run our fight in your head. My brain is infused with chrono experimental science, a quantum window to a reality five seconds ahead of ours. Every moment I'm seeing five seconds into the future. So no matter what you move, you make, I always know what it's going to be. His ultimate kryptonite. People like this can counter him because they actually see actually into the true future, not just a really good prediction. 
So he might be able to calculate a million different scenarios, but out of those a million different scenarios, you don't know which one is actually going to turn up. But instead, when you actually can see actually in the future, he knows which one of those million to choose, which is giving him a faster time to react because he has one go-to while he might have a million different go-tos, but his is absolute and his is not. So he can't just rely on his battle computer. He has to have skills because if he's against a skilled fighter like Dick Grayson, he can't just curb stomp him just because he has a battle computer. For example, he knows all of Nightwing's moves, but does he know Robin's moves? Another weakness is his abilities are technically dependent on the opponent making the first move. One could say body language. If they stand there and do nothing, he can't really attack accordingly. And the obvious counter to something like this is obviously speed. If somebody just overwhelmingly has a speed advantage, he might be able to get wins sometimes, but it's not like a guaranteed thing. If somebody's just overwhelmingly faster, like an extremely fast speedster would be too much for him because if it's beyond the speed of the battle computer, then he's kind of done for. A nice old speed blitz will work against him. Yeah, but all in all, his strength seems to overweigh his weaknesses, but his weak, but he's not an invincible type of character, but he does seem like a lot stronger than your average super soldier tier type character. But I also want to hear what you guys think. How strong do you think Midnighter is? Do you think he's crazy for his tier? How the heck did he hold a, open a monster's mouth that was like the size of a small building though? Collapsing houses and collateral of his battles? A decent argument could be made for him to be above the Super Soldier tiers. On one could argue he could be in Spider-Man ranges. It depends on how you look at it. He's one of those characters that don't appear that much, so who really knows? One weakness, one could argue that's an obvious weakness to where if the opponent themselves are fighting Midnighter and they don't even know what they're going to do next. Something a lot of fighters in fiction learn how to do. One could say this could counter him too. It could be just me. But I'm going to go ahead and get going. Thank you guys that have donated to the channel. It helps out a lot. Believe it or not, respect Midnighter though. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.